Hi, I'm Marilyn DeBelzati, and I'd like to welcome you to the 2010 Summer Youth Employment Campaign. This is the third year for this campaign, and it is sponsored by the Mayor's Office, the Metro South Chamber of Commerce, and the Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board. We are working to provide young people within the city of Brockton job opportunities for the summer. These job opportunities provide young people with not only an income, but with learning the skills and responsibilities needed to be important in contributing adults. We hope you will join us by either providing a donation or by providing some jobs for our young people this year within the city of Brockton. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mike Brady and I'm a state representative from the 9th Plymouth District representing the city of Brockton. My first job was delivering the Brockton Enterprise. I delivered it to my neighborhoods where I lived on Pleasant Street and the surrounding streets and I had to learn time management skills because I also ran cross country for the Brockton High Freshman cross country team. So I'd rush home to deliver the papers to my neighbors to make sure they got their news on time. I also learned many business skills. I learned about a lot of things about financing to make sure you paid your bill on time. We used to have to pay the newspaper route driver on Saturday mornings, every Saturday morning. And I made a good amount of money so I was able to purchase things and helpfully put some money away for my savings to help save some money for college. So I enjoyed delivering the newspaper in the uh, neighborhoods around the area where I lived. My name is Dennis Carmen, and I'm excited to be the president and CEO of the United Way of Greater Plymouth County. I've been there for the last four years. Before that, I was the director of the Mainspring Coalition for the Homeless and uh, done a number of things in the nonprofit world. Uh, but long, long time ago, years ago, uh, when I was about uh, 16 and a half, 17 years old, I started working for the E.M. Walsh Company in New Haven, Connecticut, which is a hardware store where I uh, was able to sell paint and all sorts of things that a hardware store has and uh, had the best of experiences. There was an old gentleman who owned the store at the time who showed me the ropes, if you will, how to run the cash register, how to do price markups, how to rotate the stock, and how to work with customers. And I had uh, the best of experiences. Uh, uh, people were helping me to learn the craft. Uh, I did everything from restocking and, and learning how to do that to uh, working with customers, to running a cash register, uh, cleaning the store when, uh, when there were times that uh, were uh, lulls, if you will. Uh, so I learned an awful lot of basic skills that have helped me throughout the years. The basic disciplines of showing up on time, uh, dressing appropriately, uh, treating people with courtesy and respect even when they weren't exactly friendly or kind to you. The customer is always right. You'll learn those kinds of things. So I had the best of experiences working at the E.M. Walsh Company in New Haven, Connecticut. It was just a, a fun time, uh, a time that I remember very fondly. And I learned an awful lot. Uh, the older gentleman who ran the store, my colleagues who worked with me, taught me an awful lot and I will forever be thankful. It's allowed me to do some wonderful things with people these days. Uh, uh, those kind of skills, you, you really just, they're so invaluable um, that you will always treasure them and you'll always be able to use them. So as much as at the time I don't think I understood the ramifications of all of the great things that I learned, I think I certainly looking back, look back and say, wow, what a great thing, what a great opportunity, many blessings. Uh, the people who uh, taught me so many things at that hardware store that have, have made my life really, really uh, much easier, I think, these days. Uh, learning how to work with people and uh, learning how to just uh, be disciplined in how I approach my work day. Hi there, my name is Mark Lindy and my first job was not in television. It was at the Brockton Public Library because I like to read. Former Mayor David Crosby wanted to be a librarian and instead went into politics. Well, I kind of did it the opposite way and worked at the library and then went into politics. Brockton Public Library is a wonderful institution and allowed me to pursue community service and eventually get into the field that I'm now in, television. I'm here tonight to tell you about my first job. Actually, I thought it was going to be my first car, but I'm here to tell you about my first job. Uh, it turned out that on my 16th birthday, my dad, who I thought I was smarter than, decided that I needed a job rather than a car. But I thought he was buying me a car. On, on route to what I thought was my first car, we made a stop at DW Field Park at what formerly was the Walsh's ice cream stand. And we went in to meet the owner. I thought, this is cool. We're going for an ice cream before my car. My dad is really much cooler than I thought. I actually thought I was smart, smarter than my father, but turned out that I wasn't so smart after all. As we met Mr. Walsh, I found out that I was in fact there for a job, not a car. And as it turned out, my 16th birthday present was not a car, but a job. Lessons I learned from that were never trust your father, just kidding, uh, but 
uh, the importance of customer service and being on time for job. First job was at the snack bar at Mammoth Mart on the east side of Brockton. And I have to tell you, whatever I, I learned from being an immature 15 year old in my first job, I learned a lot of things and I learned a lot of things about myself. Mostly I learned the responsibility of working as a group, um, showing up early for work, actually being there on time, ready to go, and actually not calling in sick to go to the beach. That was a big thing for a 15 year old. So I have to say that I did learn quite a bit. And if I had to do it over again, absolutely. And did I realize then what I had learned? No. It was when I got out of school, got out of college, and got into the main workforce that then it dawned on me that I had learned quite a bit from just being that little old waitress behind the snack bar at Mammoth Mart. So actually, I'm here to ask the, all the businesses in Brockton to do their very best to find a summer job for youth and contact the Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board and let them know that you have a job for youth in the city of Brockton and that you can help them learn a little bit of that responsibility too. Hello, I'm Dana Molaferia, President at Bridgewater State College. You know, as a young man, my first opportunity for work came in a restaurant as a dishwasher. I didn't realize it then, but it was a job that would shape my work ethic and my future in the workplace. I had an employer who understood that that was a first job for me and created the kinds of opportunities I needed to succeed. It is important for all of us to participate these days in helping young people to gain those opportunities. The Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board is working hard to create those opportunities and I encourage you to contact them, provide those opportunities for young people as we are doing here at Bridgewater State College. Thank you. My first job was as a housekeeper slash receptionist at a Catholic rectory here in the city of Brockton. With that job I learned the responsibility and commitment of working for an employer and I also learned how to work with other people. Summer jobs are important for young people, both financially and for their own personal development. If you have a job opportunity for a young person in Brockton, please contact the Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board.